Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Go Sweden. Today I am so KO. If you have watched yesterday's video, you know that I was planning to go to a cave today with my work colleague. And when I think about like going into a cave, I think like, yeah, it's probably some kind of touristic thing. You have like some stairs or maybe some small ladders and then you go through there and everything is well prepared. And yeah, it was well prepared, that's for sure. But it was definitely something that I have not expected. And that's the thing. I don't have a GoPro that I can just put on my head during the whole time, record what we have went through. Oh wait, <laughs> I'm currently cooking something and it nearly overcooked. So I don't have a GoPro. I cannot just walk around with the thing on my head. I had a headlight on a helmet and that is basically what I have done going through there with my work colleague and his girlfriend and <laughs> like I have made some clips but you don't get the feeling what it was in there like it was really really narrow passages but you're not able to walk like this through there because it was like there's a wall there's a wall so you had to walk kind of like sideways then of course the ground was totally uneven the first part was basically going down a ladder for at least 10 meters, 15 meters. I, I, I'm really bad at estimating, but it was, in my opinion, at least 10 meters. Going down there in this kind of, yeah, very deep valley. Then, as I said, walking through this always getting narrower part of this area. And then you came out and then it was the challenge to go fully into the thing. And it is basically going into a different valley. And then you basically like went like this. Then there were like ladders going up. And then you went down. And then you went up. And then you went over your head. And then you went there and there. And it was like a maze. And already when I was going up the second ladder, I was like, what am I doing? Because my legs were shaking. I have never done something like this. And also, if you know my videos, my health situation is not the best. So going in there... With all the pain that I have, I had painkillers during that day, but still managing through everything, I'm really, really proud of myself that I made it because that is one of the things that I know, even though my body might sometimes tell me like, I cannot do it anymore, my brain is so focused and my brain always pushes me to finish. And also in this case, because when you're in the middle of this, in this, in this small little canyon thing, there is no way back. The way back is as, probably as hard as the way up to make it out again. And yeah, so I just pushed myself trying to get over the limits. It was sometimes really, really tight that you, you were only able to like kind of rotate around your body when you had to go through this, some, yeah, all those rocks hanging in there. And it was, it was really cool, to be honest. And if my friends from Germany come and visit me, I will definitely, yeah, ask them if they want to do it because I want to do it again now. I liked it. Then, of course, we did another, like, hike. Long walk, but great walk. And we will see how I'm feeling tomorrow because that was a very, very exhausting midsummer time. But I just want to be honest. I think it was also, out of a social perspective, the best time I had in Sweden since I moved here and I'm yeah very happy that I pushed myself a bit out of this comfort zone because I know that I'm usually not the person who likes to talk to a lot of different people especially yesterday during the thing at the lake it was something special and I ate surf trimming I still cannot believe it and I'm very happy very exhausted I don't know I think I will do more either alone when I have the car but like I will not go into such a cave without anyone else because you could break your like you could break a leg or something like that. It's it's not like it's super easy going in there. <sighs> but it it was good. Unfortunately, as I already said, I was not able to make any content there because I needed both hands. I had a headlight. Like I wasn't even able to just use my phone flashlight because it was fully dark in there. Okay, that is enough for now. So if you want to check out the location, I just have it pinpointed there. And we are going to see each other back in tomorrow's video. Probably a very, yeah, relaxing one.
But until then, I hope you had a wonderful day. So see you tomorrow. Bye bye.